I've always been a fan of the outdoors. I've always been a fan of, you know, hiking around, taking pictures, whatnot. And so it was really cool when uh, I got my first climbing rope because I was able to uh, kind of interact with these uh, cool places that I get to visit. Yosemite, Zion National Park, um, even like Bishops is a place where I've like hiked many times, you know, but I, it's kind of cool to like get to climb on it. My name is Charlie Franklin. I'm 22 years old from Portland, Oregon, and I love rock climbing. We're filming, yeah. Charlie. We're live. Oh, you got the video going? Yeah. When I was 13, I uh, went to a outdoor rock climbing camp, and uh, in the camp we would climb indoor twice a week, and then we went outdoor twice a week to uh, places just in the local area from where I grew up. And uh, everything that I learned um, about rock climbing kind of stemmed from that. But just kind of feel around. There's some good pockets and uh, nice little ledges for your feet. Yeah. I can use the knowledge that I've gained uh, over all this time that I've been climbing to help other people, you know, get a sense of what's going on and maybe develop an interest for themselves. One of the biggest things that climbing's taught me about life is that it's kind of like a rock climb. Life's kind of like a rock climb in the sense that you have goals, you know where you want to go, usually to the top, right? You can sit at the bottom and you can kind of like look at the path before you. You have an idea of kind of the sequence, like where you need to go. So like if you're looking at a rock climb, you'd be like, okay, I'm going to go out right. I'm gonna follow this kind of crack system and then I might have to span out right again. Versus in life, you may be like, okay, well, I want to, you know, to provide for my family, so I'm gonna to go to college, I'm gonna get an internship, I'm gonna get a job, and find a wife, and then make some money, and then buy a house, and then I'll be happy. And then what climbing's taught me, and then I think it's slowly teaching me about life, is the fact that it doesn't always go the way we plan. So we can sit at the bottom of the route and look up at it, and we can kind of pick and choose and kind of think of the right way to go about climbing the problem but then you might actually get to these places where you had planned out and you realize that the holds aren't as good as you thought they were or it's a dead end and it's not actually going to connect the way you thought it would or a hold's going to break on you spontaneously like something tragic happens and you can't go that way anymore and you need to find another option. And I think that's very true about life is that um, we don't always know what the future holds. We don't always know how things are gonna play out once you get up there and start climbing your route. But I think that climbing is kind of teaching me to kind of accept that fact, accept that I'm not fully in control, but you're still willing to try to go to the top and find another way. And that there often are other ways to go besides the one you originally thought of. And so, yeah, that's kind of the biggest thing that rock climbing's taught me is that the best way or the way that actually ends up working isn't always the first way that you think it's gonna work. <laughs> 